Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena Games video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck and as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, we're taking a look at a Sultai Venifar combo deck built around Prime Speaker Venifar, a 4 mana legendary creature that can tap and sacrifice another creature to search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to 1 plus the sacrificed creature's converted mana cost and put that card onto the battlefield. So the goal of the deck is to untap with our Prime Speaker Venifar and another creature in play and then through a series of Vanifar activations eventually win the game on that very same turn. Now we're able to do that thanks to these creatures that when they enter the battlefield allow us to untap our Prime Speaker Vanifar, which allows us to activate our Vanifar once again. So let's say we start a turn with a Gilded Goose and a Vanifar in play. We can sacrifice our Gilded Goose, searching up a copy of Corridor Monitor, which when it enters the battlefield allows us to untap our Prime Speaker Vanifar. We can use Vanifar once again, sacking the Monitor, searching up a Tower Scout, which can also untap Vanifar when it enters the battlefield. And then we can sacrifice our Tower Scout, getting a copy of Nightmare Shepherd, which is the next important combo piece we need in play in order to win the game. A 4 mana 4-4 four, four enchantment creature demon with flying, saying whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it, and if you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a 1-1, and it's a nightmare in addition to its other types. Important things to note about that 1-1 token is that it will still keep its devotion, so all its mana symbols still count towards devotion, and it will also re-trigger any potential enter the battlefield ability, which is what allows us to reuse the corridor monitor and tower scout ETB effects to untap our prime speaker Vanifar, even with the token we get from the Nightmare Shepherd, which is very important in order to build up enough permanence to win the game. So once we have our Nightmare Shepherd in play, we can continue comboing, and then the two remaining combo pieces that I should point out are the Woe Strider as a free sacrifice outlet that helps us sacrifice or uh, Tower Scouts and our Corridor Monitors, even without Vanifar, just to be able to make a token with the Nightmare Shepherd, which can once again untap our Prime Speaker Vanifar, which is also very important to be able to combo off. And then eventually our win condition to win the game is a Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Once we sacrifice a Nightmare Shepherd, we can search it up with our Prime Speaker Vanifar, and when it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is our devotion to black, and we gain life equal to the life lost this way. So the Grey Merchant can drain the opponent out. We can often search up two copies of Grey Merchant, and then we can, with a Nightmare Shepherd and a Woe Strider in play, we can sacrifice a Grey Merchant, getting an extra token from Grey Merchant from the Nightmare Shepherd, which which will once again trigger its Enter the Battlefield ability to drain the opponent out. So let's say as an example we untap with a copy of Prime Speaker Vanifar and Gilded Goose in play, and the only other card in our hand is a copy of Corridor Monitor. Just with those three cards we can fully combo off and deal a total of 34 damage with two copies of Grey Merchant of Asphodel, which is usually more than enough to win the game on the spot. So let me illustrate this entire process with my assistant Sparky. So we start out with a Vanifar and a Gilded Goose in play, and a copy of Corridor Monitor in hand. This would work the same if we had a Paradise Rune in play instead of a Gilded Goose, since we would just skip one step and go straight to the Tower Scout, which will now untap our Vanifar. And then we can get a Nightmare Shepherd, and that's the first priority when comboing, is getting that Nightmare Shepherd in play. Now we can play our Corridor Monitor from hand, untapping Vanifar. And since now we get a token from the Monitor untapping Vanifar, thanks to the Shepherd we can afford to get another 3-drop instead of the Tower Scout. So instead we're gonna get the Woe Strider, which is another important piece of the puzzle. Sacrifice the Corridor Monitor token, which also has converted mana cost 2. Getting a Tower Scout, untapping Vanifar. And now we're actually gonna sacrifice the Goat token, getting a Gilded Goose. And now we can use the Woe Strider to sacrifice the Tower Scout which will generate a token with the Shepherd to untap Vanifar, so we can keep going. Now, the Scry doesn't matter. Vanifar can sacrifice Gilded Goose, getting Corridor Monitor, get an extra Gilded Goose token just so we can see the animation once again, and untap our Vanifar. Now Vanifar can sack the Tower Scout, getting a second copy of Nightmare Shepherd to start building up our Black Devotion for Grey Merchant. Use the Woe Strider sacking the fresh Corridor Monitor to make a token untapping Vanifar. And then Vanifar can sack the Corridor Monitor token, getting an extra Tower Scout. 
untaps Vanifar, and now it's time to get the Grey Merchants, sacrifice a Nightmare Shepherd, can still make a token to keep its devotion, and get our first 5 drop, and Grey Merchant will drain the opponent for 7. Now we can use the Wostrider sacking the fresh Tower Scout to get a token to untap Vanifar once again, which will be able to sacrifice the fresh Nightmare Shepherd to get a second Grey Merchant, which will now have a total of 9 Blank Devotion to drain the opponent for 9. So now we're already up to 16 damage. And now with our two Grey Merchants, our Shepherd and our Wostrider, we can sacrifice the Grey Merchants once again to generate a token, which will drain the opponent for 9. And they're already dead, but we could sacrifice the second Grey Merchant for another 9 damage for a total of 34. So now that we've seen the combo in action, let's take a quick look at the rest of the deck. At 1 mana, of course, we've got our Gilded Goose to help us ramp and get Prime Speaker Vanifar in play on turn 3, otherwise turn 4 could be too slow. We've got our Incubation Incongruity, which we're mostly using for the Incubation half, which helps us assemble the various combo pieces we need. Of course, Prime Speaker Vanifar the most important one, but we also need a Corridor Monitor in hand, ideally, to combo off. And then every now and then we could use Incongruity if we need to get rid of a key creature, like maybe a Mayhem Devil, that can be problematic if it stays in play. Then at 2 mana we've got our Corridor Monitor, and then Paradise Druid as another ramp creature to help us get Prime Speaker Vanifar in play turn sooner. And then also two copies of Neoform, which we can use to maybe sacrifice a 3 mana creature to search up a Prime Speaker Vanifar, or maybe find some of our other combo pieces. Then at 3 mana we've got our full place at a Woe Strider, which is also just a good card by itself. The Scry 1 ability is useful at helping us find our Prime Speaker Vanifar as well. And then at the Tower Scout. Then at 4 mana we've got our Vanifar, or 4 copies of Nightmare Shepherd, which is also just a good card by itself, especially alongside the Woe Strider. And then one copy of Spark Double, which can also be useful if we need to copy one of the creatures to keep comboing, or maybe to get an extra Grey Merchant of Asphodel to get more damage in. And then finally two copies of Grey Merchant of Asphodel as our finisher. And then the mana base, we've got a lot of untapped lands, one island, two swamps and three forests, alongside four Fable Passage, and then four Breeding Pool, for Overgrown Tomb and for Watery Grave, so a total of 12 Shock Lands, and then one Temple of Malady to round out the mana base. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand's not very good, but I uh, do have a Neoform, so if I find a 3-drop I get access to Vanifar, and I have an Incubation. So it's not the worst. Having Grey Merchant in our hand could also be awkward, as we won't be able to search up a second copy. Not our goose. Her opponent on a blue green adventure type deck. So I could play Nightmare Shepherd, although that's gonna cost me my two foo tokens. Could go Strider into Neoform to get Vanifar, that's also gonna cost me my two foo tokens, but then I could potentially win next turn, so that's probably worth it. Hope they don't have a Brazen Borrower. Now I do have a Grey Merchant in hand, so I wouldn't be able to get two of them. But maybe I can figure out a way to get the uh, copy of Spark Double to copy the Grey Merchants. Alright, they do have the Borrower, so that sets me back quite a bit. Hoping for a land so we can just replay Vanifar. Alright, that works out.
Beanstone gets the forests. They could escape Uro. So it'll be a 26. Alright. I'm just gonna start comboing and then I'll try and figure out a way to maybe get a spark double involved. So let's see. Yeah, I guess I can still sack the goat getting a goose and then tap the original goose for mana to play Tower Scouts, and that might give me what I need to get the extra spark double. Alright, so we still figured it out, and that's why the one copy of Spark Double can come in handy, since it can kind of bridge the gap if we have some of the combo pieces missing. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Hand seems fine. We're missing a monitor in hand, maybe, but uh, turn 3 Venifar should make things easy. I guess I was still missing green mana, but got a lot of those in the deck, so it's pretty likely to find one by turn two. Are we gonna see a turn three Nissa? Another Leafkin instead. Supports making a lot of mana. And there's a monitor, perfect. So... I could have the win next turn if they don't interact. The Leafkins make double green now. And there's Nissa. So 8 more mana, at the very least. Rise, my elemental friend. And a Cavalier of Thorns, pretty good.
but it doesn't seem like there's going to be any interaction. Alright, let's uh, go for it. Suppose I should make mana first, but it doesn't really matter. And there we go. All right, so 34 damage on turn four, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play. We've got some mana creatures and an incubation. Even if we miss on Vanifar, still have a Wostrider, so I'll try it. So up against an aggressive a knight tribal deck maybe. So I've got a couple options. I think the priority is still digging with incubation. So I'm gonna start there. And there's Venifar, perfect. Now I'm still missing an untapper in hand to really combo off. But there we go. Alright, so we've got all the pieces in place. Question is, can my opponent remove Vanifar? Or interact in any other meaningful way? So they appear to be mono-white, could maybe see a Conclave Tribunal. Don't want to risk blocking in case they have a pump spell. Could this be a venerated Loxel on turn, perhaps? Yup. Alright. Well, I don't see any interaction, so it's go time.
All right, sweet, another turn for kill. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Decent opening hand. Missing the untapper, but we've got uh, turn three Venifar and a voice Strider for a bit of card selection. Facing Temple of Malice. Could be the sacrifice deck, in which case Mayhem Devil's a big issue. Just gonna play another Goose. So not gonna see Devil this turn, that's good. And they can't use Claim the Firstborn on Vanifar. So yeah, let's just play Vanifar. And then next turn... I could also use Neoform to get an untapper. So pretty high likelihood of uh, comboing if they don't remove my Vanifar. And still hoping there's no Mayhem Devil. Right, they've got their own Wost Rider, so they can use the Priests, but I can easily get rid of a Goose. I think we save the Neoform to essentially get the Corridor Monitor sacking the Goose, and then I'll just start from the Paradise Roots for the combo, it's probably the easiest. I guess since I had the Goose token in play, I could have skipped a step there too. and our opponent sees it riding on the wall and scoops it up onto the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. No Venifar or way to really search Venifar other than the Scry from Strider. Do have a turn to Paradise Druids, turn 3 Strider. So it's close to keepable, but we might be very far from finding a Venifar. So I think I'm still gonna mulligan. This seems better. And then probably get rid of the Shepherd since I'm missing black mana. Turn to Grow Spiral, up against Bands. Ooh, never mind, so this could be a niv Mizzet deck. Alright, a land is good. So this turn, I guess I can just make a food. Could have also Neoformed for Paradise Druid, which is maybe more difficult for the opponent to interact with. But if they have, like, a Teferi, they could also bounce my Vanifar. So might as well make them bounce the goose. Sorry, I'm late. Don't make another move. 
Just gonna replay some geese. And hope that Vanifar survives. Here we go. Oh, I've got a backup at least. Opponent did nothing with 4 mana last turn. And there's Niv Mizzet Reborn. Alright. I should be able to combo here. I've got it. I guess I'll skip the goat step and go straight to the corridor monitor. And our opponent packs it in. Sweet, so turn 5 win through it to Ferry. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. And so what do we think of this one? Don't love it, but we do have Neoform that can sack Scout to get Vanifar. But I only have two lands, no mana dorks, Grey Merchant in hand. Hmm. I think that's enough strikes against it that I'm mulliganing. This is better. No blue mana, but uh, should be able to draw one eventually. And then between the Neoform and the Tower Scout, I think I get rid of Tower Scout, although it is the only spell I can cast at the moment. But Neoform is more likely to translate into a second Vanifar if they kill the first one. Alright, up against Moderat. Did draw another Tower Scout at least, so... Now Moderat doesn't have a lot of ways to kill four toughness creatures with one card. But they can certainly apply a lot of pressure. Goose is good. I think I still gotta play the goose, even though it's likely to die. I guess their turn is most likely spent on cavalcade, so they might not have time to kill the goose, and that lets me play Vanifar next turn. Playing Tower Scout is a fine roadblock, but doesn't really progress my main game plan as much. It's still close, because it's much easier for them to shock a goose than it is a Tower Scout. Could still have a shock or a secure the critics here. And there we see the shock take out the goose, so we'll still need blue mana. Take 4 down to 14. Could sag the 
token for 3 life, which is probably worth it, since I might not have time to use the food otherwise. Alright, so still waiting for blue mana. If our opponent has a Torbran, we could just be dead. It's gonna be an Annex instead. Still attacking. I guess I'll block the champion if they have another shock they want to use. I make them uh, do it. It's gonna be a score spitter instead. And no blue mana, so I think we're dead here. Alright, it's too bad. Not sure if playing the scout first would have resulted in us being able to cast Vanifar in time. They're not sending Annex, but I'm still taking 9 damage basically. Jeez. All right, we're on the play. No Venifar, but double incubation to find it, and Neoform can sack Tower Scout to get it. It's a little slow without any mana creatures, but could maybe find one along the way. So we'll try it. So I guess I can go Forest, maybe turn to play Tapped Passage. And there's Venifar. So the next incubation is looking for accelerants or perhaps uh, corridor monitors. I will take the druids. So wouldn't necessarily be able to play Venifar next turn. Up against a red black aggro here. Yeah, I mean maybe I just trade. Although I don't really want to. Yeah, I'll just take it. Perfect. Hopefully Venifar survives and Incubation finds a quarter monitor. And Judith. Right, it's a lot of damage, but no removal. So I guess I want to shuffle first to thin out the deck. Since I did put a quarter monitor on the bottom too with the other incubation, I believe. Uh, find Goose, which I can neoform which will find me another monitor, so that should work. So I need to make green mana, and then I can start comboing.
can skip the step where we sank the goats. Alright, sweet. So like most of our opponents today, they had a fine draw and they were able to do some powerful things, but they lacked the interaction for Vanifar and we were able to combo undisrupted. But if we do face more interaction, more disruption, things get a lot more difficult and we need to rely on the fair game plan of Woe Strider plus maybe the Nightmare Shepherd to cobble together a win. But uh, luckily today we were able to combo most games. So that's going to be it for me today. want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.